Okay, okay I guess our soup is done. Ta-da! A special mung bean soup with lots of moringa leaves, okra, and fresh lemon grass. recipe is mung bean soup. So first thing you have to wash your mung bean and I'm gonna boil this in a crock pot because boiling mung beans take time to make it soft it takes time so I have to put it in the crock pot and then after three hours this mung beans will be ready. It will be ready to be sauteed. We just add hot water and add your vegetables and spices to add flavors and add fish and okay our crock pot is ready i'm just gonna add a liter of boiling water so now it's 12 16 and let's check it after three hours okay we just pour this hot water it's good to use hot water so the temperature will not go down it will be fast, a lot faster, I guess. Okay. Let's check it again after two hours to three hours. Okay. See you. Bye. Okay, it's 1.47 p.m. And let's check the mung beans. If it's soft enough. Wow. Oh, wait. It was just hour and a half and now it's soft. Let me just leave it here for another 30 minutes. So it will be very, very soft. Look at that. Perfect. You don't have to check it every now and then. You just leave it there in the crock pot. The crock pot will do the magic. Okay. See you later. Hello, hello! Welcome back to Miss G's Cucina, mga misis. And for today, I will be cooking this famous Filipino soup. It's a mung bean soup. And here are the ingredients. So we have the moringa leaves. We have ginger, lemongrass, okra, tomatoes, grilled sardines, chili, white onions, and that's the boiled mung beans. And that's the spices we'll be using. Okay. okay. Let's get cooking. Now we can add. I don't think it started. Turn it on. No, wait, it did. Okay. Let's get started. Now we're going to saute the spices. Need to add the ginger. Saute the ginger for at least two minutes to get its aroma okay and then add the garlic and then the onions Smells good, real good. Okay, now we can add our tomato. Tomato, tomato. 
and then the lemongrass. Just saute it for two more minutes. Okay, and now we're gonna add salt, black pepper, and onion, chopped onions. Okay, and we can add the fish. Once you add the fish, don't appear. Okay, and then add the mung beans. Just give it a little turn, like that. And then you can add hot water. Hot water, you can add as much as you want. If you want it to be so soupy, this is uh, maybe four cups four cups of hot water okay let it boil and then we can add a little bit salt to taste and then that's it okay now it's boiling for five minutes now or three minutes so we can add okra and a piece of green chili this okra Okra just need a minute to cook. And then, we can add our star of the day, star of the soup. Moringa the leaves. ta -da! Lots of moringa leaves. It's hard to find moringa leaves in America. Especially here in New Jersey. And I'm trying to grow my own moringa leaves, but it's not successful at all. I can grow a moringa. I can grow something else. I can grow all kinds of vegetables, but not moringa. The seed will just disappear in the in the pot. Okay, I guess our soup is done. Ta-da! A special mung bean soup with lots of moringa leaves, okra, and fresh lemongrass from my garden and fresh tomatoes from my garden too. Okay, here's Mrs. G's special soupy mung bean soup with moringa leaves okra tomatoes and grilled sardine okay let's eat